Amen. I have an amazing story that I want to share with you guys today. It's a very unique story about the life that was transformed radically by the power of Jesus. And today I have Brittany Delmora, who's on um, Zoom today, this morning. And she's in California currently, but through social media, we have the privilege to have her in the same room as us. So Brittany, thank you so much for agreeing to share your story. Why don't you start by telling us from the beginning how your life was like uh, before Christ? So before Christ, um, I grew up in a dysfunctional household. We didn't know the Lord, um, and there was a lot of uh, verbal and emotional and physical abuse in our household. So I started looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, and my search for love took me to like just different relationships where my heart was broken. And eventually I found myself in the adult film industry. So I performed in pornography for seven years of my life. Um, I battled with a heroin addiction, crystal meth addiction. I mean, anything under the sun, like I, I did it all. Um, and then I met Jesus on an airplane to film what would become my very last porn scene. I had received a Bible at one point in my porn career. And I brought my Bible on the airplane that day and I was reading this Bible verse and the Holy Spirit really started to minister to me. And he said, Brittany, this isn't the life that I have for you. The life that I have for you will overflow with so much love, peace and joy. And if you would just quit the porn industry today, I would bless your life like no man ever could. Wow. Let's give Jesus some praise for that. Brittany, so you were on this plane, and on this plane you have an encounter with Jesus. What changes in your life? Because it didn't happen overnight, correct? Your right. change? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't happen overnight. So after I quit the porn industry, I started going to church, and I fell so in love with the presence of God that I knew that what I felt at church, I needed that in my everyday life. So I started seeking the Lord through prayer, through worship, through reading the Bible. Um, and I started fasting a lot as well. And by applying these principles to my life, I really just grew in God. And he began to heal my heart. He healed my soul. He gave me the strength to forgive every person that ever hurt me. Um, and it was a process. I also knew that I needed to take a year off of dating because men were my weakness. Um, and I wanted to grow strong in the Lord. So I made a commitment to him. I said, I'm not going to date anybody for an entire year. So there was definitely a process of a healing journey. Um, but af after I got through that, I mean, the Lord has really done what he said he would do. He blessed not only my soul, but he blessed me externally with um, an amazing husband. He is a pastor. Um, and now we lead lovealwaysministries.com. We have two beautiful daughters. Um, and we're helping people get set free from porn that watch porn, but also performers who are in the industry. We are also helping them encounter Jesus as well. So God's doing incredible things. Wow. Let's give Jesus a clap offering. Not only, not only were you in the industry, but now you are set free and you're helping others. Can you share a little bit more about your ministry and where people can go if they're, you know, um, either battling with porn or know somebody who might need some guidance in the area of purity? Yeah, so we have our website. It's lovealwaysministries.com. Um, we have a course on there that we created for people who are battling with porn. And if you guys go to Hungry Gen and you want this course, you can shoot us an email um, on our website. We'll give it to you guys for free because we love your pastors so much. So we want to give that to you guys. Um, and then we have a book called A Purity. Um, and then if you are in the entertainment industry or know somebody who is that wants out, you can have them connect with us. Um, we'll be there for mentorship, spiritual guidance, and so forth. And we also have online connect groups coming as well to help people who are battling with pornography. So those will be coming out this, uh, this year. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. I have one last question for you, Brittany. If somebody is sitting here in this room or maybe watching this and they are having a secret struggle with porn or maybe, you know, the remnants of shame and guilt, what would you advise them? What would you tell them? Yeah, so I love that you said secret struggle because that's the reality is that most people that battle with porn, especially in the church, they keep it as a secret struggle. 
But if you look at the statistics, we learn that 70% of men in church watch pornography, 30% of women in church watch pornography, and even 50% of pastors and leaders in church watch pornography. And that's why we have to break the stigma that it's a secret or a, or an isolated incident because so many people are struggling, but because so many churches stay silent, people suffer silently. And that's where it is up to you to... Um, to get open and open up to a pastor, open up to a leader. It is okay to admit that you are struggling. Nobody is perfect. We have all fallen short, but if you stay silent, then you're going to have to battle this on your own. And Jesus never intended for you to battle these things on your own. We need his presence, but we also need accountability. So you got to break the shame. Amen. Brittany, thank you so much for sharing. Let's give her a round of applause. We serve an incredible God, and no matter what situation you find yourself in, I hope this injected a little faith that God can meet you where you are and he can set you free no matter what chains bind you, amen.